Hey, soul sister. Wait, can we do this first? First what? We can do the macaroons first. I really want to try it. All right. We had a Fruity Pebble macaroon from Celebrated Co., mm. which can also be found at um, Plant That's City. Good. That's good. Mmm. These are fresh. You can tell. They must have just gotten this batch. They also had strawberry, basil, and a mint one. You know what I did for the first time in a probably like 10 years? What? It's been, honestly, it's been about a decade. What? I was at BJ's. Mm. And I was trying to find like, just some like, you know, always running around. I just need like these quick meals. So I bought a box of like, some like, you know, frozen breakfast sandwiches, mm -hmm. right? Just something I could pop in before me and Brisket hit the road. Brisket, you've had mad chicken today, bro. Mad chicken, you don't need a macaroon um, I was going down the aisle and I actually picked up two huge family big boxes of cereal. No, you didn't. Fruity Pebbles. That's why you were having cereal this morning. Yeah. Or yesterday morning. The, the yesterday, yesterday morning. Yeah. Uh, it's Fruity Pebbles. Oh, for dinner, actually. And uh, uh, Honey Bunches, is it Honey Bunches of Oat? That has like the the granola crunch. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, oh, the clusters? The clusters. Mm -hmm. And um, it was just good. So, but now I'm eating, the problem is that now I'm eating cereal all the time. Because it's so easy with the almond milk, mm -hmm. you get to go. So guys. We never even said where we are. We are in downtown Providence. We're going to call this dessert in Providence. Yeah. Dessert in Providence. I went to Plant City, grabbed the macaroons, or macaron, yeah, macaron. Oh. It's, wow. All right, hold on. I also got the Van Leeuwen, right? I think it's called, or Lew, Lewin, pumpkin cinnamon roll. So originally we were going to have this, and he made a slight detour to Tizzy K's and got these. Well, I wanted, I wanted a water. Let's give the whole spiel. Okay. So I wanted a bottle water. of water, or any type of water. Yep. And you couldn't find it. I found coconut water, which I wasn't sure if he liked. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to double check with him. Why do people, why do people drink that? It's so gross. It's really hydrating. Very, very hydrating. Coconut water from an actual coconut is good, though. Very, very good. I promise. It's different than the bottle ones. But anyways. So I got a cup of water. Oh. Listen, guys. See, Tizzy Case isn't fair to me. They don't have one vegan option. Can I have your Rice crispy? Just save me like a piece of it. I was gonna, I just want a piece. So guys, Tizzy K's is right next to the, the Providence um, pedestrian bridge. And what they are is cereal milk, milk ice, ice cream. cream. Smart. And I'm one of those people that when I when I do a bowl of cereal, I put extra milk so that, so that I can have... drink uh, cereal milk. After I'm done. We've talked about this before. Are you milk first then cereal or cereal first then milk? Cereal then milk. Yeah, we talked about this. Are you? I do milk first then cereal because I don't want my cereal to get soggy. Oh, the eight seconds is going to make a difference? Yeah, I mean, I don't scarf down my cereal. Like, I'm having Again, seconds. eight seconds is going to make a difference? No, no, no. So I do, no, no, no. I add some as I go. Oh. So I'll put like a handful in, which is kind of gross, I guess, but it's I'm only the only one who eats this here. So I grab a handful, put it in, eat that. Then I'll put more and then eat that. So I'm like an eat as you go. So this is, uh, what is this again? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And then they and then they put some on top too, like some dusting. I'm so mad. Mm. I'm so jealous. Tizzy K's, if you see this, please make me a vegan one. Wow. And you know, also guys, I was in the mood for like ice cream, ice cream slash milkshake or something. And I guess they at here they don't have milkshakes. Yeah, they only have it at Plant City X. Mm. All right. Mm. I'll try that though. Whoa! You're getting up on your hind legs for this one, huh, kiddo? I'll try a little corner of it. But they have um, they have fruity pebbles. What else did they have over there? Those are mm. the top two, is the Fruity Pebbles and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Mm. Oh, oh. Not even soft. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. 
and I and I like vegan food, so I can't. You know what? It's because you're not even holding it strong enough. Why don't you hold it? Okay. Do you like pumpkin? Mm-hmm. That is super strong pumpkin. Mm -hmm. That's why I said, do you like pumpkin? It's like overpowering a little, in a way. It's very, very strong on the pumpkin. That's why I asked that. <sighs> I don't know. You know what it is though, I'm not, I mean, you couldn't get something like that 15, 10 years ago. So. It's made out of oat milk and this this brand is huge. I, there It says Essential Brooklyn 2008. How much was that? I mean, I got this in two macarons for $20, $20 plus tip. Was it $25? Yeah, it's up there. The cone. I mean, this right here, you can either get in a cup or a cone for seven and change. But the whole pint, that's a pint, right? Yeah. The pint was like 12 bucks, which is double. So it's worth it. Yeah, so it's worth it to get the pint. We just were on our way to an event, so... I know we're gonna waste this essentially. I'm not gonna waste this. I've never this brand, very unique. They came up with a mac and cheese ice cream that was being sold at Walmart. How is that even? It's like a crumble cookie. What did they have the other day? Oh, almost everything bagel. Oh yeah, when you had that. But you know why it they did that? Bad. It wasn't bad, but... You know why they did that? What other place did an almost everything bagel cookie? I don't know. What's the one on Thayer Street? Oh, Insomnia? Yep. It was in your box. When they sent you that box of cookies, you forgot? Really? Yeah, it was in that box. There but were four of them. They're, they are... Um, what's the word? Categorically different type of cookies, though. They are, but the cookie was similar in the way that it was like a, there was no frosting on that one, obviously. It was just like a, a bagel with, I mean, a cookie with like sesame seeds and puppy seeds and whatever other kind of seeds that they put in and everything bagel. Um, also guys, we just got done eating some soul food. Hold on. Can you show them him? Are you kidding me? You know why? Because he just got so much chicken. So much chicken. We had, um, we went to Kin in Providence. Fantastic soul food to the point where Lupe was inquiring about birthdays there. Yeah. I'm um, being serious. I know you are. And Camilla's pain. All right. You act like I, that'll, that'll be the you act like I'm cheap. Listen guys, let's, let's go ahead. I'm and, so generous here. Yeah. No, I got a cinnamon yeah, roll part. You I want know, a bite? No, I, got I know, cinnamon. but yeah, I did. I... How much can you do? Probably like. Yeah, yeah. I already had two bites of mac and cheese. I gotta be careful. Oh, I don't know what like. Perfectly curated. Mm. Oh wow. That is. Okay, that's significantly. Okay. That ice cream is phenomenal in the way that I was thinking the cinnamon toast crunch was going to be super overpowering. It's not. I thought the cereal milk ice cream concept, like, I would taste cereal milk, like. So people uh, think, yeah, so people think it's probably like regular ice cream with like. Just a ton of cinnamon and. No sugar and whatever they else. use the actual cereal no in with the milk and and, and the ice cream it's very it. light it's very um not too sweet that's, phenomenal. that's amazing i'm really sad right now why people love pumpkin no this is good i just i wish i could try them besides just one bite we're per whoa we are currently perfectly in front of the new Trader Joe's. Look at that bee. Look at that bee. He's just hanging out. Look at him. <gasps> That's a fat bee, too. <laughs> That's a non-working bee. That's a retired bee. <laughs> We're perfectly in front of the new Trader Joe's building. He was almost a bumblebee. I know. He's a big boy. He's like, uh, 
Don't give up on your dreams. <laughs> I know, they keep, see the problem with overdevelopment is, I kind of like having all this open space. And also though, but this where is are you all, gonna park? This is all gonna be buildings. One day. Isn't that sad? Yeah. This is actually where they did, is it this one? Yeah. This is where they do, um, the, the, obviously they didn't do them this year because they're gonna be building, but this is where they do the, the sunflower thing. You know how people take the photos oh. in the middle of a sunflower field with downtown Providence behind yeah. them? This is it. Oh. No mas. I wonder where they're gonna, where are people gonna park when you wanna go to Trader Joe's? Yeah, it's New York City. This is gonna be like straight up. Pandama like, Pandamanium, Pondemonium. I feel like it's only gonna be locals who can walk there. It should be mandated that if you build any building, you have to go down far and build parking. Oh, I love or that. the first three, four floors are um, parking. And then you have to like go up an escalator or stairs. Because I'm to trying store. to think, what's the closest parking garage or parking lot? That's far. Right? River House maybe? Over there, that's far. You have no, to no, cross no, the bridge. No, 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 there's no. River House used to be all parking. Like surface parking. Oh. Now there's even less parking. Dang. Yeah. Well, good luck to everyone going to the new Trader Joe's. I just went to Trader Joe's today. I was looking at a house in Vermont. And uh, it was close. No. Took Carlin. It was 180000 Like how Cheap. Cheap, right? For this market. It was two towns over from my ex's families, so I was like, "Hey, maybe they, maybe they still love me." And uh, that was a joke. And uh -huh. um, uh, the reason I know that I like that area is because I've been in that area. Uh -huh. And uh, it was so cute. I mean, obviously it's dated, but it's got one of those small. Yeah, but it still had three bedrooms. Mm. But small. It's only on an acre of land, which is fine. Okay. But that, that kind of house over here is gonna be three hundred fifty thousand dollars. When you walk in, there's like this tot, there's this like area with one of those big metal uh, stove slash like fireplaces where people mm -hmm. used to like you know it goes up and then the chimney goes up yeah but you can use it as like to heat the room but it also has a surface so that if you want to like boil water or something yeah i can see myself me and brisket on a recliner sipping our tea when it's snowing outside all day <sighs> i just to rhode island every single weekend uh, you quarterly you got a lot of stuff going on here kiddo I just want to let you know mm -hmm. how close I got to a whole different life. And for me starting Stop looking up. Farmy Foodie. All right, guys, we got to go. We love you. Like, comment, share, subscribe, do the little thing. Uh, don't ever let Camilla try to get you to eat vegan ice cream. That's a lie. You love vegan ice cream. I think I like vegan ice cream when it comes from a creamery. Not when it comes from like... A pint. Yeah, and that's like so hard. You know what? You know, because we go to this place called the Parlor that yeah. I really, really like. You know what? I think we should go into Cow Cow. You're right. Cow Cow has um, right now horchata and mango nata ice cream. So here's the problem, right? I got something that's ready-made, ready to eat. Yeah. You've got like a grocery item. Yeah. Well, that was like the agreed upon thing. We just got sidetracked. No, this is, everything happens for a reason. We love you guys so much. You Thanks. being lazy and not finding me a bottle of water made me get a bottle of water across the street that happened to be sold for a dollar and to get some cereal ice cream. And I just, I want to let you know that the Lord is in my corner. We love you guys so much. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. We can't wait to see you on the next video. Make sure you be quiet so that brisket can sleep and have good dreams. Excuse me. And also, 
if you guys want to Venmo me, Brody Foodie or Cash App or, or, what? or anything else because Camilla is not going to buy me a birthday dinner. I can, so please help me incur that cost that I'm probably going to have to pay for my own birthday dinner. So you would not pay for your own. Like, You've comment, never share, subscribe. Once done that. And we'll see you guys later. Ciao.